So I heard a question recently pop up that the Vex Mythic class must somehow be broken in Checkmate. And I couldn't quite understand what the heck these people were talking about. So after running it in Checkmate for a little bit, I get the impression that maybe not a lot of people have it. But I also got the impression that the people that told us that it was broken in PvP are probably just full of it. Anyway, this video looks into a little bit of what Vex Mythic class can do in PvP, specifically Checkmate. And I want to see whether or not you guys think the same thing that I think, that it's in fact not broken. Let's talk about it. I'm going to start this video off by telling you guys right now that I have a lot of bias towards this weapon. And I do mean it in the positive sense of bias, not the negative sense. Uh, second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today. It seems like there was a glitch that was going on with Vex Mythoclast, where if you picked up a secondary piece of brick or something like that, you would get extra ammo. Uh, the third thing is, why on earth do people, I'm specifically thinking about the major new YouTubers here, say that Vex Mythoclast is somehow broken in the Checkmate PvP environment. I don't quite understand where they're coming from. But, first things first, I am incredibly biased against, or with this thing, because it took me over 40 Volt of Glass clears. Now, when I say that, that's just a number to a lot of you guys, but understand this, I had to use other characters, characters 1, 2, and 3, in order to do the last part of the raid to hopefully get a chance for this thing to drop, and you could only do that three times per week. So, it took me 40 <laughs> attempts to finally get it to drop. After that, I then had to get other people that had Vex Mythoclast to go through the Catalyst mission with me. So after we basically slogged our way through, going through Volta Glass X amount of times, and then we had to go get the Catalyst, it sucked, okay? It was one of those things where I was just not enjoying myself doing Volta Glass anymore because I couldn't get the weapon to drop. So I'm biased towards this weapon because I never got it in D1, and now I have it in D2, and people keep telling me that they need to nerf it in some capacity. And if I'm not mistaken, they've already done that. They've changed the rate of fire, they've changed the aim assist, uh, they've even changed up the catalyst. Now, here is where I think there might be a bit of a discrepancy between my reality and bias and why people think that it's currently broken, in Checkmate specifically. I do believe that if you take a look at how this weapon operates at the range that it's intended to, to operate in, which is anywhere between like an auto rifle to submachine gun range, it does melt very quickly. I've got footage in this area showing all of that. Getting three kills, you then have the linear fusion option, and that is a one-shot kill with a lot of aim assist. It is pretty easy to hit, even if you're flinched. None of it seems to matter. So, that might be what they're referring to. But, in my own defense, I have yet to really see anyone use this in such a way that has struck me as, like, odd or that different the catalyst gives you essentially the equivalent of like a very mild kill clip and stability buff which is great because it shoots like a 360 auto rifle it's a little bit on the unstable side the catalyst gives you a damage increase and in checkmate you need that but everyone i'm playing against in pvp is either using a hand cannon or they're using a bow in checkmate specifically and that is a bit annoying only in the sense that there's so many of them so I think that that will be my main defense for this weapon not being broken, in that, yes, maybe it's an outlier because of the linear fusion option, but that doesn't mean that it's broken. When somebody with a, you know, a hand cannon can get rampage or kill clip and still take you out in two taps, this thing needs extra shots to take you out. I have to get three kills before I can activate its exotic ability, which is the linear fusion component. That's awesome if you can get it to work. And if you do happen to get three kills because you play conservatively or anything, then yeah, you're probably going to get another three kills. Because the linear fusion is a one shot on pretty much anything, super or otherwise. Which is awesome when you get it to work. Anyway, um, YouTubers saying that this thing is not balanced or fair, I find that to be really, really funny because these are the first guys to basically suck onto the meta. You know, hey, it needs to be hand cannon fusion. And that's been since D1. If you're not playing hand cannon shotgun, they don't think of you as being any skilled whatsoever. That is the only thing they understand and the only meta that they want to be around. If it's not hand cannon meta with shotguns as a backup, then they just don't know what the heck to think. And I find that to be really amusing because here's a very short range auto rifle basically that shoots weird you know fusion like bullets and has an exotic capability doesn't always register your hits either and they're all about this thing getting nerfed which it was hard enough for me to get it in the first place so all i'm gonna say and let the rest of the footage run out for you here is that i don't believe that this is much of an outlier if at all 
It takes a long time to get the thing, and I believe that if you spend that much time getting an exotic weapon, that you deserve to use it in PvP and have it feel strong for you. That goes with everything that comes from the raid as well. So uh, Collective Obligation, for example, you don't ever see anybody running that in PvP because the thing is terrible. And you spend a lot of time trying to get that weapon drop for a pulse rifle. I'm usually a pulse rifle main, and I don't even want to use the thing because it doesn't feel good to use. Now you got the Vex Mythic class, which took me over 40 clears to get, plus I had to do the Exotic Catalyst, and they're just screaming and crying about nerfing the weapon, and it's an amazing feeling weapon, even as it's been tuned down from something that was a fast-firing auto rifle to now a slow-firing one. So hopefully Bungie does absolutely nothing with it. I would be pretty upset if they did. It's all about me, remember? Anyway, <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. I don't believe this to be that much of an outlier, if at all, in Checkmate, because hand cannons and bows, to me, are the outlier. And I know Bungie is correcting that with some damage changes, and I hope that that makes a difference. We'll take another look when the corrections go in place, if this then becomes an outlier. But even then, honestly, as my bias will tell you, I hope they don't touch it, because it took me a long time to get it, and I want to abuse it and have fun. All right, my dudes. Love you guys. Keep it down out there. Alright dudes, this is a superset combo based off the principle of post-activation potentiation. You lift something heavy, deadlift or squat, followed by something light and explosive. And the goal is to be able to get a faster starting run time, a higher jump, or to just train power with your hips. Now the heaviness of the first initial lift sets off the muscular, skeletal, and the nervous system in such a way that you are now primed to do something harder and faster, even though you're adding more intensity and resistance. This also increases your heart rate. As you can see, I'm already breathing heavy. It's my fourth round. And it'll get you stronger through the areas, through your consistency and through your motion, and by adding in the extra little bit of weight. So now you have power, you have strength, and you've got some functionality. All right, my dudes. Love you guys. Keep it zen out there.